stop focusing on courses and certifications if you are trying to learn data analytics skills. These courses that we see being offered online is filled with a bunch of videos that you try to sit through just to say you have completed the course. This type of learning style it lacks interactive work where you practice the skill that you just learned. If anything, this leads to information overload where it's a lot of learning and little doing. I'm not saying all courses offered online is worthless. Of course, learning the concepts of data analytics is an important step but also it requires you to learn through problem solving and actually doing work. The first platform I recommend you to learn data analytics is on the one that you are on right now. To state the obvious, yes, I'm talking about YouTube. Being the second largest search engine behind its parent company, Google, in this age of technology, you can practically learn anything that you want on YouTube. Data analysts like myself create content here to share experiences and provide more insights on what to expect in the data field. Get it? Insights? Data analytics? Before I was given the opportunity to work in a data role, I myself turned to YouTube for guidance. During this stage, I've discovered channels that had helped me tremendously throughout my journey. Specifically, Kenji's channel played a major role in my development. The ways in which he helped me was to give advice in the different types of projects you may want to do to build certain type of skill sets. Also, he went through and demonstrate his workflow and problem solving strategy in a project from start to finish. Don't underestimate the power of YouTube, even though being a data analyst, I still turn to YouTube for answers in the field of data. After getting an idea of what to expect in data analytics, you now need to get started on projects to build your skills. And Kaggle is my favorite platform to do so. Kaggle, another child company of Google. So I guess you can say Google and YouTube are siblings. Keep it in the family, right? <laughs> is a online community platform that allows users to collaborate with others. Also, it has a wide variety of data sets which you can explore. You can use Kaggle GPU integrated notebooks to host your projects and run your algorithms. What this means is that all of the GPU computation is placed on Kaggle server and not on your local machine. We know that algorithms take a lot of GPU resources and if for some reason your code should crash, it won't affect your local machine since it will be running on the Kaggle servers. Most of the projects that I've done on data analytics are done on Kaggle and the way I use Kaggle is to choose a specific data set then I would explore, clean, transform and even visualize the data. After which I have a series of questions that I will want some answers to and try to use the data to answer those questions. Sometimes I will go a step further and use a predictive model trying to predict some outcomes. The Kaggle community is very interactive and users are willing to help. If you're faced with a problem during your project, you can always go to the forum and post your problems there. Another platform that I want to recommend is called Towards Data Science. Towards Data Science is a publication platform where authors can share their concepts, ideas, and code in the data science space. While I was working on projects, of course, I was faced with roadblocks and issues I did not know the answer to. And what I like about Towards Data Science is that I could find an article that is specific to the issue that I was facing. And in these articles, it has a simple breakdown of the problem along with code snippets of the resolution. You get five free articles to view for free per month. If you want unlimited access, you would have to subscribe at a cost of $5 per month. If you're like me when starting out, $5 is a lot when you have an unstable income. What I did is to make sure I took advantage of these five free articles and I recommend you to do the same. If these articles are helpful, you can always subscribe at a later date when you're in a better financial state like what I did. For visualization, the platform I recommend is Tableau Public. Tableau Public is a free platform to explore, create, 
and publicly share data visualizations online. This platform is for anyone who is trying to understand data and sharing findings as visualizations with the world. This is recommended for beginners in the field of data analytics and business intelligence. You can easily create visualization by just clicking, dragging and dropping. The type of visualizations you can create are graphs, charts, maps and interactive dashboards. Once satisfied with the visualizations you have created, you have the opportunity to publish your work. But please note that once you've published your work, it is available to the public domain. Tableau Public also work with different data formats such as Excel, Google Sheets, Flat Files, Statistics Files, and Web Connectors. I've started off with Tableau Public and I've created up to 20 visualizations. If you are interested in data visualization, I recommend this platform. Hopefully these platforms can be of help for beginners learning data analytics. I know there are many other platforms out there, but I can only talk on my experience. And these are the platforms I use when starting out. So until next time, everybody, thank you. <laughs> Data analysts like myself. Why it sounds so weird to say analysts? That's the word, right? Analysts. Analytics. And then you're the analysts. I know. <laughs>